Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and in this video I'm going to show you guys a few things that I've bought or traded for. I'm going to give you some updates on some things that I'm going to be sending to auction. We're going to open up some packs as well. Alright, so first I'm going to start off with... I've been buying some of these. I've got a Reverse Holo Charizard, a Cosmos, Boundaries Cross Charizard, and then another Reverse. Um, I'm finding these are a little bit easier to find in a decently mint condition. I believe I'll be able to get a PSA 10 of this one fairly easy. There is a Cosmos version of the Boundary or the Legendary Cross one. Um, I need that in PSA 10 as well. And then, of course, this is the Boundaries Cross Cosmos. You can tell the foil difference right there. I still need that one in a 10. But um, if you're ever wondering, my wants list is constantly updating. It's down here in the description. It's a Google Docs. You can go check it out. If it's in red, that means I have a pending sale or an offer on it, so probably won't be trying to work a deal for those, but any other ones I still do need, and I'm trying to uh, finish up a lot of my sets. I still got a lot to go, so thank you for any of you who have been helping out with that. All right, so I did make a purchase. <clears throat> Let me read the note for you. All right, TCA Gaming, thank you for doing business with, business with me with me and I hope these amazing cards suit you well. I pulled this gold up myself in 2000 at my local card shop. My dad bought me three packs, first edition packs that day for like four bucks a piece and I pulled this first edition Missy's Gold Duck, first edition Giovanni's Gyarados, and first edition Blaine's Arcanon all in one shot. I ended up trading the Arcanon for first edition Blaine's Charizard and all three have now been graded. 20 years later each of them getting the PSA 10. Wow you did really good. Three packs Three hollows, three PSA 10s. This gold duck is special to me, and the time has come where I needed some cash and wished to move on from it. I wish to sell said special card to a special person such as yourself. Oh, well, thank you. Thanks for all the fine content you bless us with daily, and keep up the good work. You have inspired many, including myself. Please check out the Instagram at Thorson Collectibles, as well as my eBay page under the same name. You can find a link to my eBay store in the bio of my Instagram page. Hurry over for my 500 follower giveaway. Rusty, God bless you and your amazing family. Kevin, aka Thorson Collectibles, email, and then there's his Instagram. And you can see his little card right there. Well, I definitely appreciate it. He reached out to me and sold me a Misty's Golduck First Edition Gym at 10. I still have one more card, I believe, for the First Edition Gym Challenge set. I think it's Giovanni's Persian, and I think I need the Unlimited Misty's Golduck on the Unlimited side. But honestly, it looks great. Got a, It's got the Gym Mint 10, beautiful on the back side. You know what? I'm glad to add it to my collection. We have something from Brady. He did not send a note, but um, I put his name here. Just I want you to know I'm very thankful for what you sent. He was going to sell something to me. I was sell these to me or trade them. And I was like, I'm not really that interested at the moment. And he was like, well, I'm going to send them to you anyways. And uh, we're going to open this stuff up on the channel. So these are some hollows that he sent. I have no idea what's in here. I was around when some of these sets were coming out. I had my um, store shop. So this was a few years back. But that one, I remember that one used to sell a little bit. I don't know about these. Uh, I think these are synchro monsters. See, for me, I collect like the real old school stuff. But like I was around a little bit during Rise of Destiny for that kind of stuff. Rope of Life originally came out in Phaeronic Guardian, I believe. It was an ultra rare, really cool card back then. Ribbon of Rebirth, Ritual of Destruction. For me, I love the gameplay in Yu-Gi-Oh. It was one of those games where you could make it as fast as you want, slow as you want. There was all kinds of different gameplay. It was just more challenging uh, than the the way Pokemon used to be. Under uh, even though I mean, Bills and Gusta went. Where do I open this thing at? There we go. Let's rip it. But here we go. We have. These are not the original ones. You can kind of tell by the Konami and then you know, have a little white label and it says English edition at the top. I think for the original Blue Eyes, I mean, everything was English, but um, these are the reprint sets. Still really cool. You guys know I've been buying them. Um, anytime I can find them at local retails, you know, I'll, I'll buy them because you can get them for about six to eight dollars or so in the little blister packs. But I've been buying others from people, you know, that are in the blister case for uh, I think it was ten bucks a piece. I did buy some that were confirmed weighed light. I still bought them. I didn't really it didn't bother me that much. 
because um, eventually I'd like to make a whole set, you know, just from pack fresh kind of stuff. The only difference is with these, they they actually had the same set name, LOB, so the 1996 copyrights. But as I've explained in another video, the spell cards. Um, Instead of saying magic, they say spell because of that whole issue with the magic side of stuff. Got wind. Masaki. There we go. You can see right there what says spell. So the rare for this one was stop defense. Got armail. Dark gray power of Kaishin or Kaishin. And then Metal Raiders is actually my favorite Yu Gi Oh set. I always like Mirror Force. That was the card for me back in the day. I like Mirror Force. I like the Black Skull Dragon. Gate Guardian. Just had a lot of game changing cards in my opinion. I ran Magic Jammers, Seven Tools of the Bandit, all those cards like that. Alright, so we got Ancient Lizard Warrior, Empress Judge, got Fusion Monsters, Mega Thunderball, Rainbow Flower, that was a, a short print card I believe, Elegant Egotist, Lady of Faith, oh you got the Cocoon of Evolution, that was definitely a, a super short print card, Disc Magician, and then the Paralyzing Potion. So didn't get anything too cool from those packs, but I do got a few more packs to open up. Thank you very much, Brady, for sending those. <clears throat> it always takes me back to basically my early high school, maybe late middle school years when I was collecting Yu-Gi-Oh. Now, these two booster packs came from a guy you guys have heard on this channel before, Ike. Or at least that's what, I don't even know what he goes by, but that's what I call him, Ike. He's got a lot of cool stuff that he's submitting for PSA. And he actually sent me two Japanese fossil booster packs to open up on the channel. And maybe we can do him proud and open up something like a Dragonite or an Articuno. That would be pretty cool. Maybe I'll open up from the bottom side. Japanese stuff is really starting to, you know, make strides in the game. I mean, nothing right now is compared to base first edition, I mean, it's just, it's just going all over the place. Even an unlimited base is just going nuts. Evolutions is doing pretty good too. I mean, that box is like it's five times what it was like a month ago. I believe this should be the hollow, so that's why I'm kind of being careful to push it off to the side. All right, so we have Cloister, Arbok, Graveler, Energy Search, Psyduck, Shelter, Horsey, Ammonite, Kabuto. And then for the hollow we have oh Dragonite man we've been we've been doing pretty good on pulls lately I would say and man this is centered very well wish I'd brought a case over here with me backside looks nice it has a little bit of a curve to the hollow full but nothing a card saver won't straighten out don't have any mega swirls in there but that's about as good of a pull as you can get Dragonite right there. Well, thank you very much, Ike. we got one more pack to open up, so maybe we'll do something really cool. He's been uh, still doing some hardcore collecting. He's got some stuff just sitting here that I have. Um, that he buys. He's been buying on a weekly or monthly basis. Finally got a plan. I think it, at first he was uh, just kind of buying everything that he liked. And I told him, you know, you got to focus on your goals and kind of stick to them. And, you know, if you have to divert from them because you get priced out, you don't have to sell out, just kind of change and then make it, you know, put it off for now and change your goals. But I think he's investing in some really wise products right now. All right, here we go. Mr. Fuji. Beautiful artwork. Got Magmar, Tentacruel, Energy Search, Shelter, Horsey again, Ekans again, Slowpoke. You know, this was reprinted in Generations. And then you have Geodude. All right, for the hollow, we have. I'll be. Look at that. Articuno. We got how did, we got Dragonite and Articuno. Now that's what I'm talking about. That is some pulls. That was the two cards I said in the beginner, right? I said I said Dragonite, I know for sure. And I'm pretty sure I said Articuno too. But that's just kind of crazy. And you, this one actually has a little bit of a swirl coming up through the bottom uh, left hand corner. But sometimes you call it like that, sometimes you don't get anything right. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun.